What we're trying to do is target those who are involved in profiting from human trafficking without the collateral damage of taking, uh, taking down uh, or holding to criminal liability the operator of a website who just happens to run ads uh, or from a search engine that may accidentally uh, suck something up. And this knowing standard, I think, provides uh, an extra level of protection for those innocent uh, uh, innocent website operators, for instance, without weakening uh, the uh, sanctions against someone involved in uh, this deplorable activity. For advertising uh, human slavery or sex with children, or any of this trafficking stuff is, is reprehensible, and the intent of this bill to stop that is uh, commendable. Uh, but Mr. Conyers brings up a, a real concern that we need to be careful we don't cast too broad of a net. A couple of the concerns that come to mind are, imagine uh, I was put up a website with model airplanes where people could uh, post questions about modern airplanes and I go out and sell advertising to you know, the model airplane supply stores or whomever in the city. I'm profiting from advertising. Unbeknownst to me, one night in the middle of the night, uh, somebody comes in uh, and posts an ad for human trafficking uh, and I, I see it the next morning uh, and uh, as I'm going to delete it, uh, a check comes in from one of my advertisers. Have I profited from that? Uh, I think it, Google knows that it's going to be impossible uh, for them to stop uh, their automated indexing uh, from catching some of these ads and sites, yet they earn their profits uh, from advertising. Clearly, in neither of those cases uh, did you know, somebody running a forum uh, for model airplanes or a, a big search engine like Google intend to profit from human trafficking. But the, the, a creative attorney, I fear, could, uh, could stretch this statute uh, to, to rope that in. And I want to make sure, at the very least, the record is clear. Mr. Chairman, will the gentleman yield? I, I will. Uh, the substitute amendment that uh, I will propose in a minute or two uh, solves this objection um, uh, by putting a knowingly standard in. Uh, so if you don't know somebody, uh, put something up on your website, uh, uh, ma'am, uh, you're not guilty of a crime. Uh, reclaiming my time, and, and again, I, I, I think well, that is... Will uh, the gentleman yield? I will. If the gentleman from Wisconsin would respond to whether or not that would delete the reckless disregard standard. Uh, if the gentleman from Texas will yield to me to answer the gentleman I, I certainly will. from Virginia's question, the answer is no, it does not. Uh, and again, I, regardless of what eventually gets uh, through this committee, I do w want to make sure that it's in the record that we're out after the people who directly profit from this, and we just need to be careful that we don't cast too broad of a net that would require a website operator to moderate every single post to his or her with website or, or, or suck in search engines. With the gentleman yield? I, I will yield to the gentleman from New York. I, I want to commend the gentleman for raising this very legitimate uh, concern, and I want to say that... Uh, uh, if the gentleman will look, there will be, in addition to the, to the uh, substitute amendment from the uh, gentleman from Wisconsin, there will be an amendment by Ms. Lufkin and me that will go further in dealing with this problem, and I hope the gentleman and will, I, I will, will look at it I'll carefully. certainly look forward to hearing the amendments. We, we've, just, we've got to strike the balance between uh, punishing the, uh, the, the folks who profit from the, these deplorable acts while not swooping in innocent bystanders. Would, and would the gentleman yield again? I will. I don't think it's a question. Often we have a question of striking a balance. Are we being too harsh or not harsh enough? Here it's not a question of a ba striking a balance. Here it's a question of proper targeting, yeah. getting the bad guys and not getting people who, through no fault of their own, have no I way of that's reclaiming my time. You, you, you put it much better than me. I, I, I yield to your additional uh, years of experience <laughs> in, this, uh, thank you. in this body. Uh, and, and thank you very much for your clarifying and yield back the remainder of my time. You, if you do something intentionally, you've got to know. So uh, knowingly is actually a lower standard uh, than in, intentional, intentionally in uh, some jurisdictions. Well, suppose there's a situation where someone knows that something is happening. One of the, uh, okay, just in terms of internet, uh, well, let's not use internet advertising, let's use print advertising, uh, because that would also be covered under this law, would it not? All forms of advertising, correct? Y yes, sir. And uh, let's say we have someone who is knowingly selling a newspaper that includes an ad that features, uh, uh, you know, content of, uh, you know, minors being sold, advertising for that. Um, you have someone who is selling a newspaper, you have someone who printed it, you have someone who actually right. put, uh, or, or you have someone who actually put together the language and the, the, the pictures and everything in the ad, certainly that person would be, uh, you know, anybody responsible. Who, anybody who knew would be, any, it, so, but let's what, say, what, if what you're, that you're a news what, on the street, you may not have read the newspaper to know what ad's in there, you may not know that, uh, 
this is a is a suppose it's on the front page. You would be you would be uh, innocent. Suppose it's just a one page flyer, has a picture of uh, of a um, uh, a child subject to uh, being sold, and you somebody gets a handful of flyers and starts. All right, so them a, out a with flyer that person, probably, with I probably that. wouldn't would go under interstate or foreign commerce. Well, but, I mean, the same, just the, passing it, it out in front of a, a hotel or even at an airport. <laughs> I, I, what I'm trying to get at is that, you know, I want us to be thinking about the, the kind of um, right, over-breathness. Right, and that's what this amendment is trying to take care of, is but so we don't swoop in somebody who do, doesn't know what's going on. But aren't, that we really, be, aren't we really more at the intent of the purveyor of the advertisement than we would be at the... Uh, someone who has simply has knowledge of it, and then someone who printed it, and uh, someone who ran the presses right. and printed it, and then we come and lock that person up for, ooh, ooh. for uh, aiding and abetting. Would the gentleman yield? Yes, I would. Uh, all other 600 federal criminal statutes that involve advertising have a knowing standard. Intent has lost its uh, its way as a culpability as a culpability standard. You're telling me in the laws of uh, advertising. Mr. Mr. Gentleman, yield for a second? Yes, I would. Um, I appreciate the question. That is the intent that we're requiring, is to knowingly do it. The intent is to knowingly, is it's, is not, to know it's <laughs> not to knowingly uh, produce it, or to, yes. but it's, it's to actually uh, have your hands on it in any way. If you know that you have your hands on it. Oh, that's, that's precisely why we, made the, why, why we suggested the amendment, because it was going to take care of the intent requirement, the mens rate requirement. I mean, intent is, uh, is uh, the definition of intent would yeah. be to, to knowingly uh, do Correct. something to uh, achieve a certain uh, end point. That would be intent. Knowledge would be different in that Correct. you just know, uh, or someone says that you know. The time uh, the gentleman has expired. Place. To get in, and not just the uh, bonding requirement, but uh, there's an overall problem there. Uh, and I think this study goes a, a long way to uh, determining the extent of those problems. Uh, I think it's going to require uh, a lot of reform to the overall government contracting, not just the, secure, the, uh, the bonding provisions, uh, but I do think this study will be an excellent tool uh, as we evaluate that, especially uh, in an era where we see want to encourage entrepreneurship in uh, small businesses and promote uh, historically disadvantaged uh, businesses. So I urge my colleagues to uh, support this amendment. Yield back.